slow to start my day. Line to get in was huge, and I'm already up at Eagle Claw, speed walking the whole way. Let's get first ride of the day, Zen Ride. I think it is Blue Train, as I thought, because Red is on the brakes. Somehow got a Zen Ride on this, which I do not think I do. I know Ellis is going to be joining me here, I think, shortly. Don't know where he is, though. I'm going to head down to the boss in the meantime, and then maybe come back up here, but decent way to start the day. <laughs> Made the boss, and I'm not sure if anyone is here yet. I don't know what that was, but I think some butterfly or something scared me. But yeah, not sure if anyone else has ridden this thing yet today. Besides, you have poison to the safety rides, obviously. But I'm gonna be first one on the, in the front row, looks like. Assuming no one else has ridden it today, which like I just said before. And hopefully, it's running good today, so let's go find out. Never mind, there are people here. Must not have seen them. They're going over the Q Bridge right now, so don't think I'll be on front row first train, but who knows? They accidentally got on a flash pass line. It'll be front row. Oh, purple train. First time riding a purple train since 2021. Let's go. They're transferring the purple train off, unfortunately. It's cool to see the transfer track move, though. Pretty neat sight. I just met up with Ellis, and we got front row on first ride of the day on the boss. And there's like hardly anybody on the train that just sat down. There's like four people. So, what we're going to try and do is get a trimless ride next time. So, I'm going to get some footage of boss going real fast. And then also, I'm going to do a construction update on Rookie Racer because I was going to have Ellis help me out with doing construction updates. So, I'm going to be gone for about a month. So, I'm gonna get some footage of Boss running and then I'll talk about uh, Rookie Race with Ellis because he was here on Friday. I was not here because Park was open from like 11 to 6 on Friday. So I'm curious to see what progress has been made. and I got two more rides on the boss without leaving our seat. Second one, what happened to us, Ellis? Uh, we, for the second ride, uh, it wasn't trimmed, but the first ride we got, it was trimless, man. Yeah, we got a trimless ride on our second ride of the day and the first of the two back to back. It was awesome. Like, I didn't think we'd actually get it because when we were going up the lift hill, there was a decent amount of people behind us tonight and we wouldn't slow around the turn. I'm like, whoa, we might actually get it. And then we got, I'm like, oh snap, trimless. Yeah. And man, I forgot how wild trimless rides are, don't you think? Yeah. Wait, have you ever, you've done it without the mid-course, right? Or was that your first time yes. doing a trimless ride? I've, I've got on trimless boss many times and it was been trimless even before 2018, remember? Oh yeah, I meant like after the helix removal. Oh, yeah, yeah. I still got that a few times. Yeah, they're definitely not as common for like that one. What do you think? You think that one's going to be trimless? I, no, it's not. The back car is the only one that's got like nobody in it. So I think it's not going to be trimless. But overall, three rides on boss. Excellent. Uh, and uh, I don't know where the heck Ryan is. And I'll figure out where the heck he is. And we're going to eventually head down towards uh, Justice League. Also, I did say that after we rode boss again, we were going to do a rookie racer update. So, Alice, what do you think you have seen changed around here? Because I wasn't here a few days ago. You were. Uh, so remember those pictures I showed you? The bulldozers were on the, that left side over there. Yeah, there were some bulldozers over here that were not here last time. And uh, for future reference, Ellis is talking about this down here. Those are not here. And oh, wait a second. What do the, all those markings mean? Any idea what those markings can mean? I have no idea. I don't know. Me. Yeah, same here. 13, 14. I don't know what those can mean. I mean, I've always said this could be a station area, which Q House or station, but over here has me intrigued, especially. Like, this whole area, down there, I don't know if you guys can see it. They're doing some serious work down there. Do you think that could be for the station, Ellis? Uh, that's my guess. If, but if the station were to be right there, it'll be right next to the Boston station. That is true. So. And speaking of the Boston State, if it goes trimless. As, oh wow, it didn't, whoa, that trim very light. Holy cow. <laughs> it's pretty sure that would have slammed to a stop if I had to take a guess. And you can't see it going through that transfer course right there. But anyway, as we're saying about Rookie Racer. Uh, oh, wait a second, those, I never saw those until now either. Wow. Seems like those took, I think this is like, I'm looking at some sort of station or queue house. Cause those look like they could be for footers if, you, if I had to take a guess. What do you think? Yeah, that's my guess. I, I already, I already guessed many times that the station would be right in that area. Right at the same time, so. it could be that the station's over here. I, I think station, station would be here or here, and the coaster will be back over here. Which as of now, I don't think anything back here has changed. Have you noticed anything different, Ellis? No, I haven't. Other than those pictures that we I showed you on Friday, but yeah, not much else. Pictures. Also, there's a couple new track pieces over there on site, which those are not there last week. So I don't know. 
And uh, we got some new parts over there. I think it possibly definitely got to go over by Supergirl and take a closer look at that because I'm intrigued as to what that could possibly be. Wait a second. There's some straight track. I feel like we could be looking at some sort of either station track or brake run. You think so? Uh, yeah, I believe so too. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking because I don't know. This is really intriguing me, this whole coaster now because. I mean, someone's got to be keeping track of that. Since I'm here quite a bit, I'll, I'll be doing some more updates. So I guess uh, as uh, LS finds out more, because this might be my last visit to this park for a while, unless I can somehow come here on Tuesday because Ryan might be able to go, which I doubt it. If not, I'll let LS take control of uh, doing the updates. And I'll post them like, while I'm out of town, obviously. I'll have him send me the construction of the videos that he takes on this ride. So now we're going to move on towards Justice League and Mr. Freeze and maybe catch up with Ryan on the way. I went two for two. Ellis, you almost had a phenomenal first try match. Yes, I did. You had, I had 989, 700. Yep, you were so close. I was doing my thought you were going to get it. And then, Ryan, you showed up. What are you doing underneath that? Uh, so I maxed it first try, but then the second ride I got a purple blaster. Of car two, he said it was. And, and it, said, yeah, it was acting out. It was acting out. Yeah, so. It would work for like 10 seconds and then it would shut off for 5 seconds. Yikes. Then it would work for five, Whoa, 10 seconds and then it would shut off for another so, 5 yeah. seconds. Basically, it's not good. So I gotta know to avoid yeah, that one. I was gonna say, on my second ride, I maxed it. Oh yeah, that's right. Like, you guys had it uh, flipped. Yeah. All right, so we're going to hop on this one and see how it runs today. Because uh, last time I was here, it was not running the greatest. And Ryan, you haven't ridden this since uh, Silver Dollar Silver City. City so, uh, <laughs> I don't, like, the top three at Silver Dollar City have have uh, beaten everything in this park so okay um i don't know if this will be powder cake but it might based on the ride last week it was not running great it was okay. running shaky so hopefully it's a good ride today but oh, hopefully i'm able to get on it and uh hopefully they open side a because they haven't opened side a it's like way later in the day last few times that's not good i mean since the crowds today are crazy they should open it up yeah i mean justly had a line already basically outside the hall of justice yep Happens. Yeah, wasn't that shocked to see Alice flying for Justin was already outside the building almost? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was insane. So yeah, let's hop on this one and see how it runs today because I feel like Breeze could redeem himself but at the same time. Oh, it was like last week, it agree. wasn't great. So let's, Justin, let's see how it runs in a few minutes. Arms down, head back, and hold on. I love for it, dude. Uh, last, uh, last September, I went, it wasn't running at its peak condition. Wow. You know they added some new track on there, right? Yeah, it's gonna be good. Bye bye! Yes, can't get any better than the way she's right now. Let's check this. Looking for it. Ooh, I've come back, I was gonna run! Amazing! When the ride comes to a complete stop, those restraints will come up. You can exit to your left and your volume, so have a great rest of your day. I see it's fine. Oh, I gotcha. Please do not climb on my handrails. Please get down. Thank you. A little bit ago we did Mr. Freeze and then two rides on Justice League. Uh, Freeze, what'd you guys think of Freeze? You guys like it? Oh, love it. It was fast, dude. Yep, we yeah. took up the front car. Ellis was in front of Ryan and I were in the front. It was uh, solid, definitely better than last week. Last week it was running shaky. It was like really smooth today, actually. But that being said, I do think Boss is better, but I think it would take Freeze over Eagle for today at least. And I'm still saying that Powder Cake's my number three in the state. Okay, so yeah, for future references, it has uh, Outlaw Run, Time Travel, and then Powder Cake ranked. Yes. Gotcha. And then Mr. Freeze, then Boss, then American Thunder. Okay. So. All right. I feel like World's of Fun may have something to say about that. Especially if you're on like Prowler, that'll probably knock American Thunder down. Yeah. We'll see how Zambezi Zinger is when it opens. Yep. And uh, we'll, share, uh, we'll share our thoughts on Just League in just a second here. Before we share our thoughts on Just League, we're doing a little vlog swim competition here. And there goes Alice out there doing his thing. And uh, I don't know if he's using it up, probably not. He's holding a string up there. He was trying something on the ride, but whatever. And Ryan is getting on over there. I'll be on between this. <laughs> Quick thoughts on our few rides on Just League before we talk about how we got on log swim. Ryan, what do you think of your few eyes on Justin had a little bit ago? Oh, I've maxed it both times. Um, both times, the guy got shot in the dock. Yeah, that's never given that happen. And somehow I still managed with 300,000 in the first three. Yep. And Alice, that so, first one. So the first one, man, my gun wasn't working. Yep. 
it was but, blue blue blaster car three i think we said it was yeah yeah but the, my second ride both me and ryan maxed yeah, it together in the, the same car nice so overall that was i mean, last year had a bit of a rough go on the first one but it was to made up for a second time and as uh, for log flume i think we're all in agreement that ryan got the most weight out of all of us i today. did I got sprinkled all over my body. And then where did you get hit, Alice? I got hit more, a little bit more at the top than I did at the bottom. And then Ryan, you say got all over? Uh, all over the place, even my shoes. Oh, no. oh yeah, if, if your shoes get wet, then you pretty much... It's hard to lose, I guess you could say, if you got shoes. I don't know. I mean, for me, like, my shirt got a little damp. I mean, my sock got a little wet, but other than that, I mean, I think Ryan beat us. So now we're going to ride American Thunder. We can... So now it's two for you, two for me, and one for Alice. Yep, so uh, you and I are going to time for last, Ryan. We got to hope the L's get hit for us next time. Yeah. So anyway, let's see how this one's running today, because last time we're running, it was running great. So let's see how it's going. Oh, and I just hit 80 max scores. On oh, yeah, good so. call. That's good call. And, Ellis, you're at 80. I'm at number eight. That's funny, 88 and I'm at 1,089. And the American Thunder's coming. Right there. Whoa, what's going on today? <laughs> did you see the guy in the background? I did not. I'll have to re watch that again, but. Long as long as running good. Uh, oh yeah. Let's see how this one's run today. Because hopefully it runs Whoa, good. Right. wild ride that was american thunder the airtime i was getting on that thing it was prowler level it was unbelievable what'd you think of that check my shirt right here yeah he's yeah. rocking the prowler shirt <laughs> and ryan did you say you didn't have as good of a ride though no because the guy jammed the seatbelt down yeah and our, our seatbelt like for whatever reason it wouldn't tighten like at all i think it was like caught or something we tried tightening it, it wouldn't work and then i having to get like a ton of room like pretty much as much as i had on prowler and uh, I was flying out of my seat. Now, uh, Ellis and I got front, Ryan got back. I was gonna ride back here because we thought we were gonna get flash pass on red train, but they got blue train in the station for flash pass instead. So we did, I ended up doing front row and holy cow, that was insane. And we're gonna ride Mr. Freeze now because it seems like they had two trains going now because I'm seeing them cycle quite a bit more than what they were earlier. So let's go see if uh, two trains are actually running on freeze or if it's just our imagination. <laughs> Ryan, why did you break the second screen on Justice League? <laughs> well, he didn't actually break it, but you explain what happened to us. So, I was in the car in front of them, and I shot two and a half panel screens, and then I started shooting backwards at it, and it was great. <laughs> hey, hold on, what happened? Oh, uh, no, I got it, but the complete screen was great. Then I heard you guys yelling, and then I started laughing like the Joker. <laughs> Yeah, basically what happened, uh, I think our vehicles might have been too close together or something because what happened, we were uh, turning away from the truck that drives out at us after the Joker and we saw the screen light panning over and it did not reset on us. So we just got stuck at the second screen. Like, if the ride didn't break down, I think we didn't get to do the second screen, unfortunately. And that sadly cost Ellis a max. Yeah, I was just telling him that if it weren't for that second screen glitching, I would have been at, I would have maxed it again. I was at 924 yeah, total. Yeah, he got scammed so bad. I feel bad. That was ridiculous. 
it's rigged i call it rigged oh boy yeah, well, we're gonna go over and ride the boss now and see how it's running compared to because uh the three rides ellis and i got this morning were great and ryan you haven't done it yet today no nope. so we're gonna go over there and see how it's running today because if it's running better than this morning i can't wait to see how it runs so let's go find out it seems like they're putting the second train on boss as you can hear by that siren and uh we are over here at Brooklyn race right now ryan pointed out that there's a tire drive on that section of track so that tells me that's the lift hill like part of it did you ever notice that else like the tire drives on it yeah it's uh pretty cool that they're finally putting on there and uh, they're wow. sending train out now looks like so yeah there it is you kind of see purple train rolling out right now so thank goodness they're putting the second train on because they definitely need to run because the line is backed up all the way down here so yeah we ought to wait to ride that until the second train is fully running but clearing and rubble yeah there's definitely a bunch of uh lane clearing going on around here and oh they stopped them a little too oh I bet you they're doing uh -oh, block checks. Wow. They're probably doing their block checks. What do you think, guys? Block checks. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to do it. Or I'm what? not going to say it. Say what? Now it's gone. A block zone. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, jeez. Nobody's on it. Yeah, they just sent the train out. There's the oh. on the transfer track. Oh. That's, yep. So it looks like we got a few minutes before this thing opens up back up, it looks like. But, yeah, we'll uh, wait for it to reopen, then we'll get on it. about to ride batman and our uh most recent ride on boss for me it was good but i think this morning was a little bit better honestly still nothing to complain about though and uh the ops here at batman are really slow this year so that's unfortunate like they definitely have two trains running but they're stacking like that one's like right above us somewhere like up there so that's just unfortunate that they're taking forever but it's all right i guess and uh wondering how batman's running today i guess I haven't done back row on this thing in a hot minute. I've only done it, I think, twice this year. Every other ride I've done on it has been up front, so. I'll see whichever line is shorter once I have my flash pass breaks, like six minutes even with platinum flash pass, so. We're gonna have to wait a little bit. Oh man, I don't know what to say. Do you have any words on that? Uh, that's the most intense BNM and that I've been on. Yeah. Um, I believe it. It's so insane. Um, wait, actually, wait. Nice than that. More intense than Alpine, guys. 
Yes. Whoa, okay. Yeah, I was like Alpha Guys better, but this is basically Alpha Guys' first half for the whole ride. Yeah, it's absolutely insane. Oh man, we ended up doing uh, front row because the line for that apparently ended up being shorter than the back. And uh, I was really impressed. It's definitely the best run I've had it all season. Ellis, that was your first time running front on this in like forever, you said. Uh, it, it, it's very different from it when it was in the back because when I was in the front, like, I was getting off the lift hill, but then it was going really slow before I started descending down. But then when I was going up the loop, I whipped through it really fast. I know, that's like, both throws are incredible in this ride. And I, I feel like these Batman clones, I think are definitely underrated. Like, people trash them for being clones. They're so good. Like, I don't get it. Like, they're honestly some of the better BNM members I've written. I'm Would you agree with that? I'm sure this is the best Batman out there. <laughs> I don't know. I, I would say this one and over George is the best ones. I've rode five. Oh yeah, now that I mentioned, I'll be on my last, uh, I think my last U.S. Batman clone this summer with the one of Great Adventure. So I'm excited to see how that one compares. Over Georgia or a step above the rest. And the one of Great America was also good when I wrote it. Not, not when I wrote it. It was really, really slow when yeah, I wrote it. Yeah, I wrote it in 21. It was Aren't good. every other Batman's the yellow track? Uh, no, because you got some oddballs like the one at Over Georgia and Magic Mountain that are blue for whatever reason. What? One of the ones that drops right, isn't it? Yeah, it's sad. And I think also Goliath at Fiesta, Texas, all these other ones in the U.S. Yeah. But anyway, that was uh, definitely one of the best rides I've had on uh, the ride for today. And definitely the best ride on Batman all season. So overall, no complaints from any of us. Ryan also had this question move up in his ranking in this park. I forgot to mention that. Where did it jump? Uh, 52. And so then you said it jumped uh, Scream and Eagle, which you can see way out there, yeah. for your number four in the park. Yeah, it's, it jumped it from that. Absolutely absurd. Ridiculous room. Yeah. I personally disagree with uh, Eagle being ranked below Batman, but that's his opinion. For me, well, for me, that's because set him out of value. But uh, the ops were slow, but if anything, it wasn't too big of a deal. I mean, it would have been necessary faster, but eh, it could be worse. They ride could be on one train for all we know, and they do have two trains on it, so that's always nice. Anyway, I think we're gonna go over and ride just to sleep a couple more times, and then figure out what else to do from Because freeze, I have not heard that thing run in a long time, and the, the flash pass website on my phone said that it was delayed, so that's just wonderful. It had been delayed a lot of the day. A lot of the afternoon, so let's go and uh, hop on Justice League and maybe catch another ride on Freeze and Reopens, but who knows. I do want to ride American Thunder again, though. That was great. We just did a couple more rounds on Justice League, and we're hearing some beeping sound coming from over by that area. And I think that can mean Rookie Racer update, so wait, a crane on Freeze? Oh, oh, that's what it is. I don't know. What are they doing to it? Wait, what happened? I don't know. Seems like it might be down for the for a long while still. So. Yeah, welcome back to that. I mean, I thought it was Rookie Racer, but no. Anyway, we're gonna go check out uh, Scream and Eagle now and see if that's got a longer line or not. And uh, Brian, this way I think will be faster. Yeah. So let's go this direction. Uh, Better, but okay. Oh, do you want to go see it then? No, it's, it's fine. Oh, okay. We're already heading this way. All right. So yeah, we'll maybe take another look at it on the way back down here. But man, that is interesting. I don't know what they're doing with Mr. Freeze. Maybe we'll get a better view of it from over by Screaming Eagle Station. Maybe the crane will be set it up. Which actually, yeah, you won't be able to see from right here. But who knows? Let's go take a look up at Eagle. See what that line's like. Eagle line was decently long, and Ellis has to leave soon, and uh, he has to be out here by like five. That line is like I don't know, maybe thirty minutes, and it's like round 440 so uh we're not gonna bother riding that and what the are you serious <laughs> what is this guy's problem anyway. okay stop it i'm trying to talk here oh my god anyway as i was saying before it got rudely interrupted eagle line was long so we're not gonna bother waiting for that uh we're gonna check river king and if that line is too bad or it's running two trains we'll do that real fast and then go get one more ride on justice league all of us are gonna go back to justice league and uh, I did one more time on that before Ellis has to leave. So let's head down towards River King Mine Train and hopefully give that a shot. And if not, we'll go to Justice League. We just took on River King Mine Train in the back car. I don't know what it was about this ride, but that tunnel drop didn't hit like it usually does. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I, you guys got airtime, yeah, right? I don't know why I did. I don't know. I mean, I got a little bit, but it was nowhere near as good as I remembered it being. But that being said, was it still better than the front? I'd say yes. At least that first drop off of the first lift, but I actually thought that might have been a little bit better than the tunnel drop for today, to be honest, because the lateral jolly guy was awesome. 
But I don't know, River King Mine Chain, that last drop just didn't hit today for whatever reason. At least I didn't think it did. But then again, I even known to say that a lot of critically acclaimed airtime moments don't live up to the hype of me as I don't like Raging Bull's first drop or Steel Vengeance's giant outer bank. I, I know that's going to be controversial, but those two elements didn't hit for me. And I don't know, this thing might have been having an off day, which I'm sure it was. You mentioned Steel Vengeance's outer bank, did you? I'm sorry, I didn't get anything out of me. It was, it was, it was, it was the for new records when it opened. Yeah, but I didn't think it delivered. It took me until uh, 2021 to get on Steel Vengeance, and uh, I was extremely disappointed by this ride. But, oh well, maybe next time it'll impress me like I thought it would. We're going to go over and get one more ride on Justice League before LS has to head out, and then Ryan and I are going to do some other stuff for the rest of the night. And then the last hour marathon for Justice League is right around the corner for me. There's something going on with Mr. Freeze uh, over there on the spike. He's like some crane over there, some person working on the LLMs on the spike. I don't know what's up with that, but... Was that really necessary? Yes, it was. Oh, well. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get a closer look at this because I'm curious as to what happened there. Like, they said they were doing maintenance on it, and I believe that's accurate because... Uh, the spike malfunctioned, okay? Well, we don't know if they actually did. I mean, if they did, the ride would valley, but look at that. Wow. I don't they know shorted. what they're doing. They shorted. I'm, I'm guessing they shorted. Like, short shot it? No, shorted out the circuit. Huh. I don't think it valid today, did it? No. So yeah, I mean, otherwise they would say it's down for the night if it valid, which it hasn't valid unless it's from what I've noticed. But, uh, we're going to ride this thing one more time and then uh, uh, I guess do some other stuff last night once I let's leash. I just had a ride where me, Ryan, and some other person who I know who knows how to max it. We all knocked out the same ride. Alice unfortunately had a purple blaster, so he didn't quite get it. Yeah, I was at 849. That's not bad though. Yeah. Anyway, I know you have to head out or whatnot, but I uh, just want to say thanks for joining us today. You had a great time with you. Yes, I did. And I guess uh, remember, uh, Alice will be doing all the rookie race construction updates for the channel, so I'll be posting those on the road, but I know you have to head out, so I'll let you get to it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, have a safe trip, bro. All right, thank you. Hell, oh, by the way, I should mention you are going to Hollywood Nights. Yeah. I'm so jealous that I, I really want to go because you can't because I can't go. So did I. So five days, man. I can't wait. I know. And once uh once I get to see him again after my trips, I'll get his thoughts on Trimble's voyage and all the rides there because that'll be exciting to see what he thinks of it. Finally, looking forward to it. I know. Anyway, you have fun at Hollywood Nights, bro. I will. I'll tell you about it when I get back. Yep. All right. So yeah, we're gonna head over to American Thunder now, front row. Let's go for it. We were just listening to uh, the sounds of Justice League behind this wall here, and we were down over by where the Joker animatronic is, because you can't hear Joker from a certain area. Yeah. And then we didn't hear it for a minute, and then I'm like, wait, did it break? And then behind the over here, ladies and gentlemen, we are ceasing operation on this ride due to technical difficulties. And I'm like, oh no. So I think we broke it, Ryan. Yeah. Oh boy, it knows. We were listening to like, nope, nope, nope. Oh wow. Ah, you never know. I don't want to ride there. I don't know, let's go give it a shot and uh, see what happens because, oh man. I still can't believe we broke Justice League. Well, not actually, but you get the idea. Yeah, we are. Just got another ride on American Thunder. I think my ride, for me at least, earlier this morning was better. The front row ride that we just did was better than my back row ride earlier. Yeah, I did a front blue train right side, and Ryan did front blue train right side the past time. And it was overall uh, a little bit weaker this morning from those that for me. Oh, they got a freeze going, so it looks like we'll be doing a... Uh, we'll do freeze one more time and then maybe do this. Let's go try a freeze. Eh, we'll see what time it is, but... We'll do freeze and then go up to uh, either Boss or maybe just leave. We'll, well, yeah, Ryan might check an eagle out. I'm not going to ride it again. I already rode it once. Don't so really need to ride it again today. But we're going to ride this until it's open back up finally. So let's go do it. We'll have each other the rest of your day here at 6 o'clock.
Thanks out towards your right hand side, and I'll meet you the rest of your day here at Six Flags. Third round of Mr. Freeze was awesome as usual. And Ryan's gonna go right scream an eagle. I'm personally gonna start my marathon on Justice League and get my 1100th max score today, which I don't know if I mentioned that or not. I'm a couple away, so let's get to it. Five left until I'm at, uh, what do you call it? 1100, I mean, uh, 1095, so. We got an hour to do it. No reason why I shouldn't be able to unless my really breaks down, which it does, and that's just unfortunate. But yeah, it doesn't mind as long, but as long as I can get it from the other night, I'm okay. Zen ride or not, let's do, let's go for it. That first ride was good, but at the same time, the ending was rough. I say that because while I did max it, I got stuck, so the ride's probably gonna be down for a few minutes until a set a few test runs, and then uh, hopefully the ride back up and running, but that is 1,096. Got four more to go. That was 1,097. That took a little bit longer than I expected to get it because there were several single, wire, single riders in front of me, but I got like, I don't know, 25 minutes left to the car close to get uh, 1,100, so this will be close. I feel like I can do it though. Let's see if we can make it in time or not. I'm pretty sure I can, but it depends on what the ride does, you know, and how many speed riders get on. But let's see if we can do it. Just had a really bad ride. My gun wouldn't work like at all, and I didn't even break a hundred thousand with it. Ugh, I couldn't have missed that. Oh, I'm in big trouble. I can't make it now. I don't think. Oh, this is gonna be really close now. Eleven hundred. That was the most stressful milestone I've ever had to deal with in my life. Cause, oh man, after uh, that horrible ride where I didn't even break hundred thousand, I uh, quickly reserved a flash pass because I knew that if I tried to go around in the single rider, I probably wouldn't be able to make it in time. So right after that horrible ride, I reserved flash pass and thankfully I was able to go on like a minute with it. And so I got one thousand ninety nine right after. Hurried over the flash pass. Got it scanned and I managed to get 1100 at the last second. It was 659 when you got that scan. I know, so I felt extremely like in the Roger scan, it's, it turned to set and clock, so I barely made it. I I saw you do that. I'm like, holy cow, he must be desperate. I didn't know he missed it. But yeah, back when uh, like COVID was still around and just like reopened, I used flash pass for that because there was no single rider line. I rarely use flash pass, but for this one particular ride, I needed it like bad. <laughs> oh my gosh, I never have been so desperate for a milestone even more than my 1000 max score which i had at the end of last season this one was way more desperate so oh my gosh it was insane because you have you this is the last possible visit before dollywood right? yeah that and also my east coast trip yeah and have uh, i'm very very slim chance i'll be coming back here on tuesday but i highly doubt it so yeah we might just hang out on Maybe. tuesday who knows we might well, we'll figure something out but oh my gosh 1100 finally got it was it worth the stress? I'd say yeah. I mean, it's another milestone. What can I say? First one after a thousand, believe it or not. I definitely got a lot done today. My final ride count was 16 on Justice League, four on Boss, three on Mr. Freeze, two on American Thunder, and one on Batman, Log Flume, River King, Mine Train, and Scram and Eagle. What'd you get on today? So, let's see. 13 on Justice League, one on Log Flume, one on Mine Train, one on Boss, three on Freeze, two on... Uh, Screaming Eagle. Two. Oh, you did twice on Eagle. Yeah, I did twice on Eagle. Speaking of it, how was that running? Oh, yeah. It was really good. I got Red Train, and it was still really good. Nice. Um, and then Shoe on American Thunder. Nice. And I think that's uh, it. Batman. Oh, yeah, one Batman. Yeah. And Batman was running ridiculous. Batman today. was absurd today. I was like, wow. Oh, man. So, overall, I think today was uh, really good. I mean, the ending was difficult to deal with. Because, I mean, I didn't think I'd be able to get 1100 before, uh... I uh, head out of town on my trips, and if I didn't get it, then oh well, I guess. Maybe I would have maybe come back and come, I would have maybe come back and got it on Tuesday. Anyway, uh, let me see. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else. Uh, Batman was good. Freeze was good. Boss was really good today. First trimless ride of the year for me on it. And uh, overall, really solid day. And before we click off this video, please make sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already, and be sure to comment about what you enjoyed about this video, and be sure to show someone else you may know. If you're new to this channel, like what you saw, please consider subscribing for more content like this. My goal is to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the summer, so I'd appreciate you subscribing and turning the bell on so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take when I visit a park, so be sure to check that out as well via the link in the description. The next vlog, I say it's most likely not going to be from here, and if it's not from here, which it probably won't, like I just said a million times, it will either be from Dollywood, or I might be doing Anakista, because... 
I will be riding that mountain coaster if I go there. And Keith says alpine coaster, what the heck you call it? And I will be doing a mini vlog on that. So stay tuned for content coming from uh, those two parks, I guess you could say. And then after that, I will be hitting some parks on the East Coast trip, which I have stated in a previous vlog. And I'll state more about those whenever time comes. So thank you guys again for watching and stay tuned for the other content I just talked about. And then until then, I'll see you later. Thank <laughs> you.